Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to talk about a new filament. Um, my Maker Box. If you guys remember my Maker Box August um, video, I was missing one filament. Well, not missing this raw size. Well, surprise, surprise, Maker Box sent me a replacement of the correct size 1.75 millimeter. So I got to print the High Five Blue. I gotta say, these are probably the only prints I'll ever make in this filament because it is expensive. <laughs> it is sixty dollars a kilo. <laughs> Needless to say, I won't be making too many prints in this, but I did maximize the sample that I got. And first up is the little Marvin. In fact, I want to get the light over here because this filament is crazy. It printed so nicely. It really is kind of crazy. There we go. Look at that. All these are made on the Ender 2. I want to use my best printer for them. This filament is ridiculous how pretty this stuff is. By the way, this is this right here. This particular one is what did this. <laughs> I was because I have such a limited amount of this filament, I didn't want to waste it. I was trying to pry this thing off right there and I pulled a little harder and it popped off and yeah I won't do that again I'm actually printing out the on the I got the Z5F working again it was the stepper at least so far it seems to be working okay um, so I'll have a review of that soon um, it's not a bad printer but it's a couple of years ago, I would have given this printer a very good rating because it, it's actually not bad. But they made a couple of mistakes that are inexcusable in printers today. I mean, we've had multiple years for them to learn these mistakes, and they still made that mistake, and that's that's bad, 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 bad zone star. But anyway, there's your Marvin again. Spectacular, this Marvin. The, the key ring's a little goofy because there's no active cooling on the um, the Ender 2, so little tiny things like that suffer. Holy crap. Probably the... Did that turn off? No. Okay. Oh, there must be some sort of fade. Okay. But wait, 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 Miss Tube. He redid the animation for me in my style with the little moving head. Isn't that cool? I thought it, about, about every minute it just, it just finishes drawing the D. I thought that's amazing. It's even got the sounds of the printer head going and stuff like that. I don't need that for this, but it, it's, it's, it's very cool. Thank you very much, Miss Tube. That is amazing. This is also amazing. This is probably the best. I keep saying this every time I do this because they keep getting better and better and better. This is probably the best Benji I've ever, ever printed both in quality of print and in quality of filament. This filament is ridiculous. Oh, I wish it wasn't so expensive. I would make so many things with this filament if it didn't cost $60 a kilogram. You ready for this? Let me get some good light here. Look at that Benji. That is crazy how good that is. Can you read it? There you go. Look at that. Hashtag 3D Benchy. Bottom is perfect. Look at that. Look at these. Look at the top of the deck here. The 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 actual deck of the ship. That is so smooth. I don't think there is one single imperfection anywhere on this boat. A little tiny extrusion error right there. It's something. I don't know what that is, but it's, it's, it's irrelevant. Look at the hole, the anchor holes. Look at the overhang on the front there. Just the air tiniest of droop there. The doorways. You're not going to be able to see it here. Maybe I can give you some light. Where's my flashlight? There it is. I want to see if I can, you can see even the, the bridging on the inside is perfect. Can we get it in there? 
Uh, almost. I don't think you're going to be able to see in there. Maybe I can turn from this side. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. It might not be in focus. There it is. Look at that. Look at the roof inside there. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. I don't think it's possible to make a more perfect benchy except for using a resin printer. The smokestack. Perfect. Look at that. The perimeters are perfect. I'm gonna have. I wish I had enough of this stuff to do um, Angus's um, tolerance test. That would be incredible to try that. It prints so nice. My first Marvin was actually a slight failure. I don't know where it's at. Um, I was printing too cold. It does not like 195. It really needs to be about 215 um, or hotter. But look at look at the walls on this thing. And the color is stunning. Oh god, I love this color. This is my second most favorite color in the world. Orange being the first, of course. <laughs> but this is... Oh my god. And we're not done. Classic rocket. It has one flaw right here, and that was my fault. I was sticking with the printer when that happened. I was loading up, and this is the, this is the last thing I printed, and I was... Um, I was loading up another roll of filament in order to, I wasn't sure if there's going to be enough filament left to finish all the way to the point before you were left with what was left in the Bowden tube. So I was preparing to load more filament behind it to make sure I could push the rest of the blue out to make sure it finished. Turns out there was enough. But um, in doing that, I was jostling the printer and I caused that little layer shift right there. That is not the printer or the filament. That was totally me. Look how perfect. Look at the walls. This is a compliment to both the printer and the filament. No ringing. No ghosting. Look at those thin walls. Look at that. I actually put a fan on it to get that point and it still wobbled a little bit. I don't think there's anything needed to stop that, no matter how much cooling you have. Look at that filament. And then, of course, the Vern style rocket. That's one of my favorite rockets. I have these things huge. I I've made this fly. Look at that finish. Again, look how perfect the fin is. You can't even see, no matter how close I get, you can't see the layer lines. And this is not like some 50 micron print. This is 200 mics. <laughs> it's a vase print, but it's 200 mics. Look at that finish. You can't even see the layers. This filament is incredible. Look at that. Both sides. No ringing, no ghosting. This is a testament to the quality of this filament and the quality of this printer. I am not kidding when I say the Ender 2 is probably the best printer I've ever seen in my life. Not just used, but the best printer I've ever seen. Second only to a resin printer. This 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 printer is ridiculous. <laughs> it, it really is crazy how good it is. My CR10 can't touch it. The, none of these printers can touch it. None. I have yet to see, touch, or witness a printer that can do this. And this is not slowed down. This is running at 40 millimeters a second. Well, it's probably 30 because it's phase mode. It's considered perimeter. Right? But this printed in less than 90 minutes. Standard benchy time. I didn't slow this down. I didn't go crazy tweaking the speed to get that perfect finish. Standard benchy time. Less than 90 minutes. Like right around 90 minutes. All my benchies take 90 minutes. Same thing here. Just... I think I'd see the 40 or 45 millimeters a second, but then of course perimeter for vase mode slows it down a little bit, but look at that. I really do think this is some of the best prints I've ever seen on this printer. And this filament is incredible. These are not imperfections. Those are actually built into the model for strength. Little ridges that are, see, there's two of them there. Look at those fins. And it maintains this quality all the way up. 
all the way up to 200, mi 200 millimeters. It's, in it's incredible. Look at that. I love that. I, I, I never gets old looking at that. It's, it's so beautiful. Oh, man. I wish this wasn't so expensive. It's $30 for half a kilo. That's $60 a kilogram. I could buy three rolls of Isun PLA Pro. I could buy six rolls of Sunlu on sale. <laughs> six kilograms. And this is $60 a kilo. Now this is their HT PLA V3. So it's designed to be annealed and it's designed to be printed at higher temperatures and designed to also be annealed and it's supposed to have like 0.5% shrinkage. I'm gonna test that. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of uh, problem I don't I don't wanna put these in the oven. <laughs> I want nothing bad to happen to them. They're so pretty. But um uh, it's ridiculous how good this printer is. And the very last bit of the Joel Telling High Five Blue. Oh I didn't show you the, the bottom, the pirouettes. The spinnerets at the bottom here. Look at that. Beautiful. The only flaw is this one here. I damaged it pulling it off the bed. That wasn't the print. That was me tearing it off the bed. I wasn't going to do that thing with the knife again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Bite me once. You don't get a second shot. Um, so the last of it went into this nose cone. That's the last of my uh, high five blue. And then this is another filament I'll have a review of coming up soon. Um, not yet, but this is um, Maker Geeks, I think. They're Raptor PLA. Again, it's supposed to be a, an annealable with minimal shrinkage PLA, a high temperature PLA. But that's the last of the um, the blue. So that will go on my rocket when I fly. <laughs> God, I would love to make a whole rocket out of this stuff. But once again, the two best. The Vern style. Again, this is a testament to both the PLA, which is incredible. There's just no layer lines. You really can't see the layer lines. Now, part of that is the massive amount of sparkle, which helps to hide the layer lines, but you can only do so much with that. This is just, it just shows how absolutely stunning. Look how, I never noticed this. Look how square that edge is. That edge is not usually that crisp because most printers can't line the layers up so perfectly. But look how absolutely square that edge is. No ringing, no ghosting. I've got to do that chess piece with the helix inside. I gotta try to do that chess piece with this printer. Once again, the, the Benchy. Look at that. Such a, I wonder if we can see the layer lines if you're getting close enough. Ah, uh, yeah, we, this is at an angle, and you can just kind of see the layer lines there, just barely. Yep, just barely. And we're getting in really, really close now, and you can just barely see the layers. And you got to tilt it just right, because if you don't tilt it just right, you can't see the layers. It's, it's, it's so smooth. Incredible. That is the Ender 2. I keep talking this printer up because well, you see what I'm getting out of it. <laughs> These prints are crazy. They are ridiculous. Even tiny prints. A little, a little Marvin. It's just an amazing printer. Even the underside. Look at that. His belly. It's just an amazing printer. And this is a beautiful filament. Very, very cool. Very cool. You guys have a great night. I'll have links down below for MakerBox. If you've got the extra 20 bucks a month, it's worth it just because it allows you to do things like this. To toy with filaments you can't normally toy with because, well, I would never try the High Five Blue because I don't got 30 bucks to blow for half a kilo. <laughs> I mean, it, it would have to do something really, really special to get me to spend $30 for half a kilo because most of my prints take a full kilo. <laughs> so, uh, maybe eventually, maybe after I sell my first rocket kit, I'll buy one roll of it just because I want to print 
one fin can, you know, my fin can, nose cone, all my parts, I want to do one of them in this blue. So after I um, sell my first rocket kit, I'll take the profits from that and I'll buy one roll just to do one rocket in that high five blue. Um, but each month you get four of these, four different filaments to try out. Um, and it's, it's, you get to try out neat, interesting filaments that you might never even find or you might never try because of price. It's cool. You know, it's neat. I like it. Um, I do benefit if you sign up. Um, I think if every three people who sign up, I get one month free or something like that. No money or anything. I just get a free month of um, Maker Box if three people sign up. But um, check it out. And oh, I forgot to mention, this is Proto Pasta. It's an American company that makes the filament here in the U.S. San Francisco, I believe. I'll have to find out for sure. But it, right where Joel Tilling lives, he actually went there to, to choose. He chose this color. He's the one who picked the amount and type of ingredients to get this color. That's why it's called High Five Blue. <laughs> um, but, um, and subscribe to him if you're not already. Great channel. But, um, that's amazing. Proto Pastas HTPLA V3 High Five Blue. If you've got the cash to splurge, I don't think you'll regret printing with it. I didn't have to do anything with my printer settings that were different except to make sure I used at least 215 degrees Celsius on the hot end. And I'm betting you could probably print a little hotter if you want. But uh, this is cool stuff. You guys have a wonderful night.